We take you on a heartwarming journey to shine a spotlight on incredible stories of resilience, love, and hope. Come with us as we explore the power of family and the journey to help children find a family who chooses to love them forever. Let's go on the record. From WPBF 25, this is On the Record with Todd McDermott. Good morning. The mission of the nonprofit Selfless Love Foundation is to improve the child welfare system and create opportunities for foster kids to find loving forever families and then thrive as adults. And joining us now is Ashley Brown, the founder and CEO. Ashley, let's start with your personal history and why you founded this foundation. Well, first of all, thank you so much for having us on tonight. I was adopted into the most incredible family that truly changed the trajectory of my future. So growing up, I always said I'm going to pay back this blessing of being adopted. And honestly, I always thought it would be through adopting a child myself. But then I met my husband, and we were planning our wedding. And I remember saying to him, there is nothing in the world we need, so why don't we create a nonprofit? So we started Selfless Love Foundation. So not only do we create forever families for children in foster care, but we serve as an extension of family for children aging out. So looking back, it's pretty special to think that the family that our foundation was built on is now the same foundation that helps so many children in foster care um, be a part of their forever family. Now, were you a foster child yourself? No, I was really, really fortunate. I was adopted at birth, and because of that, I always knew how lucky I was, and I always said, you know, I've got to pay back this blessing because now that I'm in this line of work, I realize, you know, how daunting and how the future is for so many children that are in foster care. Before we talk more about the foundation, what's something about a, an adopted child that people may not understand or may not know? Okay, as... As a byproduct of adoption, I would say that um, for me personally, and it's because of my parents, they always made me feel that I was extra special, that I was picked. And they brought me to um, Georgia, to the Cabbage Patch Farm. Are you familiar with that? I am. Okay, so they let me pick my Cabbage Patch doll, and they told me that just like how I picked that doll, they picked me. So I always grew up knowing that my parents loved me and that I was born from their heart. Let's talk about the foundation and how it actually impacts the adoption process and system. Tell, tell us how you facilitate that. Absolutely. Well, I'm very proud to share with you that in less than five years, we've helped over 400 of the hardest to place children get adopted. And that includes sibling groups, teenagers, youth with high medical needs. We're even finding families for 17 year olds. So everything Selfless Love does is through collaboration. So when we were launching our adoptions initiative, Selfless Love Families, we actually met with child welfare uh, agencies across the entire state. And we said, where is the biggest hole in adoptions and what can we do to fill it? And across the board, they all said, working with the families. So many times they get frustrated or get lost on the journey. So Selfless Love Families, we actually offer a personalized approach to helping families on their adoption journey by offering them pre and post adoption services. We also provide grants to the agencies to help fund home studies, adoption connection events, and provide other resources to families. And, and that you point out, this can be a difficult process for families who want so much to adopt a child. Yeah, it can be a difficult process, but there's a process for a reason. We want to make sure that these families are properly vetted and have the right amount of training to be able to handle children that have been faced with trauma. But at the end of the day, the process is worth it. There are so many children out there that are in need of a loving home. Right now in the state of Florida, there's 890 children available for adoption. Right here in our backyard, there's 39 children available for adoption in Palm Beach County. And a lot of these kids are the older kids. So if anyone is considering adoption, I, I beg them to consider adopting an older child or a sibling group. We're going to talk a lot more about the foundation during this half hour, but tell me how people can reach out to you and how you find people to help. Please visit our website, selflesslovefoundation.org. You can find many resources for families that are hoping to adopt. You can also learn more about the foundation, even sponsor an adoption connection event or make a donation. And do you have a vision of the future of the child welfare system that you would like to see manifested over time? My vision is to transform the child welfare system. And how we will continue to um, work on this is three different ways. It is not only through creating forever families for children in foster care through adoption, 
but we also work a lot with kids that have aged out of foster care. So not only do we provide supportive housing, but life skills, leadership, even financial training. And then finally, if you really want to move the needle, it has to be done through policy change. So what makes us really unique is that with all of our advocacy work, we actually include youth voice. So that means youth that were formerly in foster care. They are the closest to the problem, and we want them to be a part of the solution. Well, anybody who listens to you and sees the look in your eye knows <laughs> that you are committed, and this means a lot to you, and we appreciate what you're doing. And we have a lot more to talk about. Ashley, thank you so much. Thank you thank, so much. Thank you for starting your foundation, too. <laughs> oh, I, I feel like I'm the lucky one. Well, next up, we're going to talk with a man who has helped make more than 100 adoptions happen. A Marzo roof is the last roof you'll ever need. With our year-end sales spectacular, call by Wednesday and get up to $1,000 off. Make it easy with the Marzo Done Right Guarantee. The best warranty and a 24-hour callback. Marzo is roofing done right for over 30 years. Score a BOGO for $1 at McDonald's. Snag a sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddles, bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, or sausage McMuffin with egg. Breakfast at Mickey D's is in the bag. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Here's what Floridians are saying about StormSmart custom hurricane protection. We can't tell you how perfect the installation is. We were over the moon pleased. The hurricane shades on our lanai are so functional and beautiful. They block incoming rain and sun and allow me to see out. The next hurricane season will find us very well prepared. We will absolutely endorse StormSmart. Call 866-60-SMART and start designing your custom Storm Smart screens and high-impact windows today. Bruno! Bruno! Pop on the run? No problem. With five drive modes, Rogue makes this a walk in the park. Drive the Nissan Rogue. Now get a low $2.99 per month lease or get 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on Rogue. If you're looking for the yard of your dreams, look no further than Moon Valley Nurseries. America's largest box tree grower is now open in Riviera Beach. Here, you'll find a wide assortment of mature trees and hedges. Our courteous and knowledgeable team will assist you from planning to planting. Create a yard that ensures privacy and a place your family will love. Benefit from our stress-free white glove service and take advantage of our weather protection plans. From small projects to complete yard transformations, we've got what you're looking for. Come see us today. My doctor recommends all free clear for my laundry. It's free of dyes and perfumes. And doesn't leave behind irritating residue. For a clean that's gentle on skin, all you need is all free clear. A Marzo roof is the last roof you'll ever need. With our year-end sales spectacular, call by Wednesday and get up to $1,000 off. Make it easy with the Marzo Done Right Guarantee. The best warranty and a 24-hour callback. Marzo is roofing done right for over 30 years. You're watching On The Record on WPBF 25. Joining us now to go on the record is Daniel Remchuk, the adoption connector for the Selfless Love Foundation. Daniel, thanks for being here. I have to ask you first, what is an adoption connector? Thanks, Todd. Thanks for having us. Um, an adoption connector is someone who works with families uh, to help them through the process of adoption. We also help try to help serve our most vulnerable children throughout the state, um, those that need forever homes. Now, I understand you are also personally invested in all this. You're not only a, an adoptee, an adopted child. You've adopted a child. I have. You know the, the, whole, the yes. whole thing. Yes, I do. So tell us about it. Yeah, um, I was adopted, I was actually adopted here in Palm Beach County. Um, I was uh, adopted as, a, as an infant from the hospital. Um, and uh, growing up, I married my wife who was adopted through medical foster care in Palm Beach County. And then uh, our family became full circle in 2011 when we adopted our son, Cameron. I think we just showed uh, your parents, I believe. Yes. And then there's this photo of your family. Yes. So uh, how does this inform what you do to coming from the background you have? It has become my passion. It, it is definitely, uh, adoption is, is the thing that I talk about the most. Um, it is what I'm most comfortable talking about and, and it is something that I want to do with the rest of my life is to make a, a legacy in, in the field of adoption. And, and how does it influence your role as an adoption connector? 
Um, I have experience and I can help families through the process because I know what it's like to wait and I know what it's like to, to have that desire to have a child and I know what it's like to meet that child and then eventually uh, adopt that child and have them as, as, as your child. I, I know that whole process. Did your parents talk to you at all about what adoption, being adoptive parents, was like? Um, they did, when, especially when I got older. Um, yeah. they, they talked about it uh, when I was an adult and when we were going through the process of adopting Cameron. That's, that's really when we started talking about uh, what it was like for them, what it's like for us, and, and what, it, what adoption now means. Was there something in particular they might have told you that, that really stayed with you? I think my parents did the most about teaching me about patience mm -hmm. and, and, and to have patience with processes. Um, my parents were both uh, civil servants. My dad was a police officer, my mom was a nurse, and they, they understood the idea of, of patience and, and understanding that there are things you have to do and rules you have to follow, but in the end, it always works out, and, and that same is true with adoption. And now you have, uh, you're in the middle of a life of service yes. in another way. Can you tell us what it's like to put a new family together to place a child? It is the best part of my job and has been the best part of my job for the last 10 years. Uh, it's like putting the pieces of a puzzle together. And when you see a family that is completed and you see a family that has uh, found their joy through adoption and, and through bringing another child into their home as their own, it, it, every single time I see one, and I've seen a lot of them, uh, Every single time I go right back to our adoption and what it was like when we got Cameron. It, it is that way every time for me. And I can see the emotional connection you feel to this process. Absolutely, absolutely. What, um, what are some of the pitfalls that you try to help families get through though? Because I know, as we talked about with Ashley, it can be an arduous process mm -hmm. to go through and is required mm -hmm. to actually get to the adoption process. How do you help the families get through it? I think one of the best things that I can do is just be there for them, uh, to give advice when they need it, but really to listen, uh, to give them a chance if, if they need to vent or if they need to say anything, that I'm a safe place to do that. Uh, and, and I, because I understand, and I understand what those emotions are like because I had them myself, and uh, giving them a chance to, to have a, a safe sounding board and a place where they can go to for advice uh, whenever they want it. Can you today share some of your feelings, your joy at being an adoptive parent and being uh, your, your family of three? Oh, it, it's a wonderful experience to be an adoptive parent. It is, uh, my son is now 14. Um, he is in middle school, he runs track. Uh, he is absolutely the joy of my life. There is no doubt that he is, he, he was absolutely the child that we were meant to have. I have 20 seconds left for you to send a message to anybody who's out there who is thinking about adopting a child. I would say do it, and I would say have patience for the process, but understand that it, it ends with such a joyous thing, just like parenting does. Daniel, thanks so much for joining Absolutely. us. Absolutely, thank you, Todd. And sharing your story, because it is a great one. Absolutely, thank keep, you, Todd. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you so much. Coming up, meet the Florida family. Daniel helped adopt three siblings. Sandra knows how important it is to be prepared for not only getting up in the morning, but also the steps we take throughout the day. Take a look at our future track hour by hour. Whether you're in Boca Raton or you're in Fort Pierce, things can change fast, and that's why she's looking ahead. She's going to let us know what our commute is going to look like, not only in the morning, but also in the evening. That's why we trust Sandra. Ten years in a row, she's making sure that the certified most accurate forecast that she gives is perfect and is ready for you to plan your day. COPD is hard around the folks around you, I think. It affects my wife terribly. And she smoked and she quit. And if you ask her why she quit, she'll say because she needs to be here for take care of me. So, sorry. Tobacco-Free Florida offers free nicotine replacement therapy to help start your quit journey. Call 1-877-YOU-CAN-NOW. With the Freestyle Libre 3 system, know your glucose levels, no finger sticks needed, all with the world's smallest and thinnest sensor. Manage your diabetes with more confidence and lower your A1C. Try it for free at freestylelibre.us. Bruno! Bruno! Pop on the run? No problem.
with five drive modes. Road makes this a walk in the park. Drive the Nissan Rogue. Now get a low two ninety nine per month lease, or get one point nine percent APR financing for sixty months on Rogue. If you overdraw your account, Wells Fargo gives you an extra day grace period to avoid the overdraft fee. What if everything came with a grace period, like accidentally parking where you shouldn't? Hey, what about this one? Nah, that one gets an extra day. Somebody got lucky. Like having an extra day grace period? When it comes to overdrafts, you can with Wells Fargo. Ugh, I can't wait to get out of here. And right into my shower. Dial with HydroClean Complex and Vitamin E cleanses deep but is gentle on skin. Dial up your day. Let's do this. Welcome back to On the Record. Joining me now from Sarasota, Liz and Alain Grishar. They recently adopted three siblings, really expanded the family. First of all, I just want to tell you congratulations. This must be a, just a wonderful time for you. Liz, let me have you start by just talking about the newest members of your family. Sure. It started um, off just Alain, I, and our son, who's nine years old, and then in May, we added on three additional siblings to our group, and we officially adopted them in November. We have Tati, who is 16. She's going to be 17 uh, next week. Then we have David, who's 15, and Rose, who is 11, and then our son, Ethan, who's 9. It's just a beautiful family. We're looking at photos right now. Alon, can you walk us through the process a little bit of what it was like to get those adoptions completed? Yeah, of course. Uh, first of all, you know, me and Liz had to make a decision, right, together. Uh, Liz volunteers uh, with children already in uh, various different uh, organizations. And we really wanted to open our hearts and home, and we really wanted to expand it our family. We, we were a family of three, um, getting a little bit lonely for Ethan, <laughs> an only child. Uh, so really what we did is um, we went, um, you know, through the route of going to Selfless Love and Safe Children Coalition, and they really made a great event. Um, we had uh, connection groups with other parents, but that event really also let us meet kids that wanting to be adopted as well. The moment we saw them, I mean, we fell in love. It was really, we knew right away. I mean, it was just uh, very easy, very natural. Uh, we made the decision. The kids also liked us, and from there on, they just came to our house. We made sure that we have a click, that we're good for them. They fit well with us, and once once we did, we got all the support we needed uh, from all of the great people that work with Selfless Love. Um, and really that, you know, once we bonded, it was inevitable, and now we're a big, happy family. You sure are, and I don't think Ethan is lonely <laughs> anymore, that's for sure. We just showed a photo of Daniel with you, who we just spoke with. Can you tell us what he did to help you get through the process, what it was like to have him uh, in your corner? Sure, yeah. Um, Danny was always there, right? He was um, a really big support. Um, if it's through classes and education and really following up with us, uh, he made sure to come to our house, make sure that we have everything. Um, at the end of the day, you know, they got to make sure that those kids are treated well, that we have a good home, and obviously we do. And uh, it was really nice to have them um, join us and really, you know, make us make our life complete. And Danny was really with us through the whole process, every step of the way. Liz and him still talk a lot. Um, they stay in touch, and uh, he's the reason why we're here today as well. Well, Liz, talk about what it's like to go from that, that nucleus of the family and then expand it. What's it feel like? Uh, honestly, it feels like we've always been a family from the second they've come in. It would feel weird without them. Um, I mean, it, it's just amazing. They've been great, and everybody is happy. Ethan's extremely happy to have siblings now. We're extremely happy to have more kids in the house. It's just been great. We couldn't ask for anything more. Let me just tell you, it, it, um, these pictures are so beautiful of your family. Um, Thank you. It's, it's really heartwarming to see. What do you tell other families who may consider this? And I'm sure some people may have said to you, you're going to adopt three children at the same time, three siblings. It sounds like you know an incredible commitment that some wouldn't be able to make. What do you tell them, Liz? It, do it. I mean, it was, it's, it's a lot different than, you know, 
well, we thought it was going to be a lot harder than it is, but you get to meet these kids beforehand. And when we click, we click and, you know, it's just, it's like, it's always been a family. So I say, go ahead, do it. And what's, what's next? I mean, you, you are now going to have the complete experience from young into teenagers, into college students and adults for, for some time. Alon, what are you looking forward to the most? All of it, to be honest, uh, different stages in life bring different uh, challenges, different joys. Um, we're really excited to have all of them going it kind of together. They're very, very close to each other. They're all going to be very sad when Tati will be the first one to leave and Hopefully she can show them the way of, you know, how to do it right and uh, be successful adult. That's really the whole point here is, you know, to get them to the point where they really don't need us anymore, but they come for, you know, for the love that we have and uh, stay in touch. But really, we want them uh, to be the great individuals we know they can be. They're really smart kids. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to all of it. Uh, Ethan is still just nine. He's not even a teen anymore uh, uh, yet. I mean, uh, we have two teenagers, which obviously comes with interesting challenges. <laughs> um, but, again, they're really, really great kids. So just seeing it all, seeing how our family is now bigger, happier, um, it's just so much more fun, so much more life. Um, never a dull moment, really. Well, I will tell you, I don't offer advice much, but I will tell you, as the father of adults and young children, that your kids will always need you. And um, thank you so much for sharing your family's story with us. And good luck to all of you. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. All right, take care. Thank just ahead, you. just ahead, we're going to talk with a couple waiting for their adoption to finally become official. We could tell you what it's capable of, or you could find out for yourself. How we get there matters. Get exceptional offers at your local Audi dealer. This weekend only at City Furniture's New Year's Sale. We're giving you free premium delivery on the best selection of leading styles. City Furniture, everything you want in home. All Free Clear is the number one doctor recommended brand for sensitive skin. Whether you have a family with sensitive skin. Or you do yourself. For a gentle and effective clean, all you need is All Free Clear. What's my safe flight story? I'm a photographer, and when I'm driving, I see inspiration right through my glass. So when my windshield cracked, it had to be fixed right. I scheduled with Safe Flight Auto Glass. Their experts replaced my windshield and recalibrated my car's advanced safety system. Safe Flight is the one I trust. They focus on safety, so I can focus on this view. Safe Flight Repair, Safe Flight Replace. We at Southeast Pools and Spas are making it easy for you to enjoy the new year with rest, relaxation, and rejuvenation. We still have some of last year's 2023 inventory left, and we need to clear it out to make room for 2024 models. Come in and take advantage of saving up to 50% on quality Made in America hot tubs and swim spas by Master Spas. Head over to one of Southeast Pools and Spas showrooms in West Palm Beach or Port St. Lucie before they're all gone. In the next 30 seconds, 250 couples will need to make room for a nursery. 26 people will go all in. This family will get two bathrooms. And finally, one vacationer will say, Yeah, whoo, I'm going to live here. But as the euphoria subsides, the realization hits. I got to sell the house. Don't worry, just sell and buy in one move when you start with Open Door. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Start with an all cash offer at opendoor.com. We could tell you what it's capable of. Or you could find out for yourself. How we get there matters. Get exceptional offers at your local Audi dealer. Joining us now this morning, Chelsea Sullivan, Nick Gilliland. I know you're from the Treasure Coast. Thank you so much for joining us today. You are in the process of going through the Selfless Love Families program. Chelsea, let's start with your excitement here. Tell me about it. it's a 12-year-old boy. Yes, we got matched with a 12-year-old boy. Um, it is just fantastic. He is just everything we could hope for and more, everything we didn't expect. And if you would, and Chelsea, I'll stay with you for a second. 
How did you decide to do this? We decided to adopt because, well, for me, I always wanted to adopt. Nick um, is enabled to have children biologically, so when we got together, it just was natural. It was the thing we did research on and came to as the best option for us. And Nick, tell me about the process. I mean, meeting your soon-to-be son for the first time had to be exciting, maybe a little nerve-wracking. What was it like? It was a lot of emotions, um, but we met him on Christmas Day to be... Um, and we spent, you know, quite a bit of time on a on a call with him over Zoom, and so it was a nice, it was a nice um, meet to meet him that way. Did um, you feel a connection right away? I did, yeah. 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 What was it about it? They were like, "Hey, this, this is this could be my child." Yes. Um, well, I mean, if you were to take our faces and kind of mend them together, <laughs> yeah. it kind of looks like us. So it, okay. it kind of fit. And did Chelsea said yes always? Did you quickly decide, yeah, I want to, we want to adopt a child? Was that something you had to, a decision you had to come to, or was it absolutely yes? It was an absolutely yes, but I've always known that I've wanted a family, um, even since finding out that I couldn't, yeah. you know, have kids of my own. Um, and, you know, through a lot of research that we both did, and um, we came to the conclusion that adoption was our best option. How did you find Selfless Love Foundation, or did they find you? How did that work? They found us. Um, kind of. We are home study approved through the state and when we finished that process they informed us that the Selfless Love Foundation existed and I'm so grateful they did. There's just no way we could have done this on our own without them. And again we've been talking about them this morning but what, uh, what did they do for you? How did they make this process happen that you're appreciative of? Our adoption coordinator has been with us every step of the way. She has been holding my hand since March of this <laughs> year. She's had the access to people, places, things, information that I could only hope and dream of. And they also run a support group for our families like us. And it really helps us feel connected to other people who are going through the same process. Well, you seem, and I can tell from sitting here with you, you're a very connected couple, which I'm sure is great for <laughs> this. Now you bring somebody into the family. Nick, when you think about the future and the family of three, what do you see? What are your hopes? Uh, my biggest hope is the smoothest transition as possible. And uh, my other hopes is to immediately start making memories. Um, I've, I've told my wife here that, you know, that, you know, as soon as it's finalized in the courthouse, we just want to book it out of town on a vacation and start <laughs> making those memories immediately. That's a great idea. Can you tell me any more, Chelsea, about him? And what, yeah. what, what he's like? Yeah. Um, I think a big part of what it kept, what brought us to him um, is when we read about him and we heard about him even before meeting him, there was so much in the history and information we got that we identified with from our own lives. And then getting to meet him, he has a lot of interests that match us and things that he can benefit from us. You know, he's a, he likes to play games, he likes to fish, he likes to go to the beach. He just, everything about him sounds like he could have been born right from our families. He just has those same connections and joys. And we can't wait to introduce him to everybody who's so excited to meet him. That is so wonderful. <laughs> can, can you imagine at this point now, when you get through this process, what it's going to be like to, to have a son? I can't imagine it. I've never had a son before. <laughs> most, most days it's so surreal, but we have a, his room is ready for him. Um, we have friends that all have kids in the same age group, so it's almost like his whole community is waiting for him, and we've been waiting for him. And now all that's left is just getting to that process, but it is a process, and it takes time. So, you know, even though we're going to meet him, we may not have him actually living with us until the summer when it's easiest to transition for him. Well, I wish you so much luck and joy and happiness. Chelsea, Nick, thank you for taking us on your journey today. Thank, thank you. you so much. Can't wait for you to have a son. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. And thank you for making this part of your morning. As always, we encourage you to take part in our discussion every Sunday right here at 10 a.m. Until the next time, you can watch this morning's episode of On the Record and all our episodes on our website, WPBF.com, and on our free WPBF 25 News app, Matter of Fact with Soda O'Brien is next. Have a great day with your family. We'll see you again next Sunday.